Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we've got something a little out of the ordinary for you here on the channel. We've got a great guest speaker with us today, Harold from Signals Everywhere. Now if you haven't seen his channel before, make sure to click on the link to it that I'll leave down in the description below right after you watch this video. He does a lot of amazing things with uh, SDRs and ham radio. All right, let's get to the video. Hey Jason, thanks for that amazing introduction. My name's Harold with Signals Everywhere, and today I wanna to get into APRS messaging. More specifically, I wanna show people that APRS is not just the automatic position reporting system that everyone thinks it is. APRS is actually the automatic packet reporting system. What this means is that APRS is actually a multi-use system that we can do a lot of different things with. First and foremost, one of the most interesting things is messaging. So we're going to go ahead and send a couple messages over to Jason, KM4ACK, and wait for a reply. Moving over to the computer here, you can see that I have a tablet set up in my car. And uh, when stationary, I have a nice little keyboard I can use to help me send those messages along. So we're going to send a message to KM4ACK-4, that's his SSID, uh, which is essentially a way that you can use the same call sign for multiple APRS stations. And here you can see how I've sent hello from Signals Everywhere. You can see at the tail end of that, we have an acknowledgement uh, saying that it hit the Digipeter, and now we're waiting for that signal to go out and hit Jason's station so that it can come back through traversing its way through the network where I can see his reply. All right, and there's the message from Signals Everywhere. Let's send him a reply. Your channel rocks. And we'll go ahead and hit the send button. And you can see Jason sent a pretty cool message back. And uh, well, you know what, Jason? I think your station rocks. Station, channel, you make really good content, dude. Appreciate it. And so you can see we got Jason's message, and it really didn't take all that long. Uh, so let's go ahead and reply back. As you can see, APRS works pretty well for communicating across even state lines. This particular setup, I am sending uh, completely RF on a frequency of 144.39 megahertz. This transmits from my car to a digipeter either here within the county, um, actually from my location, I'm even hearing digipeters over the lake of uh, Lake Erie out in Canada. So those stations then connect to the internet if necessary to make the link, and then it'll pop out at the other digipeter where Jason happens to live. If it doesn't need to connect to the internet, it'll actually make as many hops as it needs up to a certain degree to get that message over to the intended person. So I just got a message back from Jason, KM4ACK, thanking me for the collaboration on this video. And I got to thank him as well, because without Jason, I wouldn't really be able to make a video showing the useful utility there is in the APRS network. Messaging is just one of the many things that you can do with APRS. And it's not just messaging people back and forth. We can also message third-party gateway services. For example, I'm going to send a message over to WXBot. This bot will actually take a look at where within the APRS network the message came from, and it uses this to forward you information on your local weather forecast. You can even ask it for weather forecasts for different areas. So say I'm going to be somewhere in three hours, I can hop on to the APRS network and see what that weather is going to be uh, before I even get there without having to use my phone. Another great use for this happens to be Ham Radio Tweets, a unidirectional gateway that I built several years ago in Python that will receive a message from the APRS network and then forward that message to a Twitter account, in this case, at Ham Radio Tweets. So I'll go ahead and send a message to my gateway and we'll see that it pops up right here on the Twitter account.
There's so much that you can do with APRS, and one other thing that I've got to mention is the SMS gateway. And this is something that Jason is actually going to be covering over on my channel. So go ahead and take a look either in the link in the description or a card somewhere on the screen. That's going to take you over to Jason's video released on my channel, and he's going to show you how you can take APRS messages and use those to communicate with everyday cell phone users. And this is a bi-directional gateway, meaning that you'll be able to send the messages back and forth, not just in one direction, like my ham radio tweets gateway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you all in the next one.